In this video, I want to take a look at position vectors. So position vectors are vectors that give the position of a point relative to a fixed origin. So for example here, the position vector of a point P would be the vector OP. Okay, so that'd be the, the vector OP, where O here is the fixed origin. Now what I've got here is just a little diagram which will hopefully um, help illustrate the idea behind position vectors. So what I want to do here is just denote how we'd um, define the vector AB. So the vector AB here using these position vectors. So I've got the vector here OA. That's going to be OA. So that's a position vector because it's relative to the fixed origin. And same again here for this vector or this position vector OB. Okay. And what I want to define then is this vector AB. So if we think about this, we're going from A to B, so that means I need to go down here and then up here. It's a very simplistic way of thinking about it, but that's what we're looking to do here. So I need to go in the opposite direction here to this position vector OA. So in that case, if we're going in the opposite direction, then remember we need to subtract that vector. In that case, that would be minus OA, or minus OA, and then we're going up this vector here, so that's the vector OB, the position vector, so in that case, we just simply add that. So it's going to be plus OB. Now, there's a nice way of writing this. We'd write this as the vector OB here. So OB, and then subtract the vector away. Okay. And now how it's that would be the vector AB there, defined using those position vectors. And there we have it. That's kind of all we're really looking to show for this video. Like I said, quite a short video. We're not going to run through really any practice questions. Because um, what we're going to do in the next video is take a look at some exam revision of vectors. So that brings us to the end of this video on position vectors. In the next video, we're going to take a look at exam revision for vectors.